I have every single part that I need ready here. As you can see, these are the new belt covers. These are supports for the deck panel, just in case I need them. I think I have more than I need, so yeah, the exact amount I will tell in the uh, readme file on GitHub. I have the magnetic front system here. So the way this is going to work is, well, you'll see it in better in action, but yeah, these magnets are supposed to hold the front. If this doesn't work, I do have a screw-based backup using the original open builds uh, corner brackets. And well, I will also try to design a light system if this doesn't work. I do. I am aware of the reasons why this may not work, but yeah, in theory, this will work well. As you can see, I also have some supports for it so that it doesn't slide around in the front and they are they are pretty snug fit so yeah i think this will work well but again we will see these pieces are the hinges on the back and here i have the two pistons that i'm going to try most likely i will need the 350 newton one but i'll start with the 100 newton one because as i said in our earlier video they are easier to source and finally i have the DIN rail mounts here as you can see and well again uh, uh, as you can see I know I say that a lot uh, I have four DIN rails so yeah I think I will have plenty of opportunities when it comes to wire management especially with these uh, terminal blocks I've also been printing 2.4 parts not everything is done but the parts that I need, at least for this project, are done, and these are the 2.4 skirts. I don't have any 60mm fans yet, though I'm going to order them soon, I think. And yeah, for now I'm just going to keep the blanks in there and hope that electronics don't overheat. I know that's not a great solution, but yeah, that's the best I can do. Also, I don't have the mini... 12864 I think was the part number the screen for the front so again I'm not going to mount this yet and well in general I'm waiting for China parts you know how it is nowadays with the coronavirus but yeah when it comes to this project everything is ready so I'm just waiting for this thing to cool down and then I'll start working on it I'm pretty much done with the mount now and well, as you can see, this works perfectly. Uh, these two 80 Newton uh, gas springs balance the bed very nicely. And they're just barely enough to lift the bed, which is actually a good thing. Because, well, you can leave it half open like this, for example, if you want to. And plus, it's not putting that much stress in the back extrusion here so yeah it is a nice thing now uh, i had to use these metal hinges instead of the 3d printed ones because well they didn't last but there is some play with those hinges plus also there is uh, about 4.1 millimeters offset to the front so i have to redesign this front piece which is what I'm going to work on next but right now as a temporary solution I just shifted the piece forward and cut pieces of this etc but yeah I'll fix that in a bit in this video and yeah this is the way it opens now since I had to use uh, two gas springs I need to split this piece into three if I want to actually cover this area as well. So that will, that is something I'm going to do, but yeah, not in this episode, not in this episode because, well, I need new tools for that. Because, well, as you can see, I did a terrible job with this. And the reason behind that is my jigsaw started to fail. And yeah, I don't really have a alternative good cutting tool. So yeah, I basically need a new jigsaw for that and yeah, that's out of the scope of this video anyway. It's pretty simple, you just need to cut it into three pieces to remove it easily. 
but yeah for now this works and as you can see it is pretty easy to remove i also did most of the wiring in here as you can see and yeah uh, i need to do the wiring to the to, uh, tool head and the motors back there and i'm just going to do a just a quick rough job of it for now because the upgrade to 2.4 is near and i want to do a proper job with that instead so yeah for now i'm just going to do a decent enough job to work for a month or so and yeah i should show you the some of the custom mounts i did this is the mount for the the ssr that i designed now the ssr is going to get hot so i don't know if that is going to last if not though the solution is pretty simple i just need to screw it into side of the power supply like before i have these terminal blocks in the back and i plan to run the uh, some of the wires through the terminals and others will just connect directly it will depend on what the connector is and uh, do i have anything else custom designed here i thought there was something else oh yeah there is uh, these relays i'm using two of these for controlling the 12 volt and 24 volt power supplies the 5 volt power supply is always on to power the raspberry pi the 24 volt and the 12 volt ones will be turned off by default and you can you will turn them on uh, using the enclosure plugin I have some uh, Boron Design 30 millimeter test cubes here for just doing a before and after comparison just to see if it affects the print quality at all so as you can see first of all let's look at the top actually and well as you can see there is no significant difference in the way they look from the top the this one doesn't have the overhang that's because i pushed the bearing on this side from the inside which meant i had to also push the overhang and this is the old one by the way so yeah and that's why it doesn't have but there's also the overhang in there printed properly so there is nothing wrong with that and moving on you can see the sides again there is no visible difference at least to my eye no visible difference between these two we'll also show this with the Voron logo again there is no visible difference at least I can see other than this minor artifact which maybe I touched it somehow it doesn't look like a printing artifact but other than that as you can see they look pretty much identical they look different on the bottom that has nothing to do with the mode i just use the different sides of my uh, spring steel heat pad which i'll get to but yeah i just wanted to show this first there is no visible difference in terms of print quality again at least to my eyes so I would call this a big success and yeah let's also take a look at the printer itself so here it is the final version of the mod as you can see there is a tight fit with this and that's how I can print without actually screwing these two optional screw holes I'll get to these later in the video and well as you can see the heat pad fits perfectly even with the gantry in place the opening is more than enough in my opinion but as I showed earlier you can move the gantry to the front which which will give you close to 90 degrees of opening angle so yeah it works perfectly also again as i showed earlier in the video i had problems cutting these deck panels because my jigsaw broke so yeah that's why these panels are that way i will fix this later but i just need a jigsaw a replacement one and 
here you can see the electronics I did not do a terrific job with the wire management as you can see that's because this is temporary as I said I will redo this pretty much entirely with the 2.4 upgrade with up while upgrading the gantry obviously upgraded the Z drives and yeah that's I guess it's uh, as I said I think this is the most important thing this relies on magnets and friction and once you seat it in there it sits nicely uh, there is one thing actually I should cover once you do this mod uh, you have to recalibrate your Z height from the bed. Uh, just doing the quad gantry leveling isn't enough. And well, because of that, as you can see, I don't ruin the smooth side of this spring steel heat bed. So, yeah, definitely redo your uh, Z probe offset. The way you do it will depend on your firmware and the boards you're using so i'm not going to talk about how you do it but yeah you probably know that already i'm just talking about the paper test that you put under the nozzle after doing that once as far as i can tell you can just lift the uh, heat pad and put it back and you don't have to redo the z offset ever again you just need to do quad gantry leveling which only takes a minute left, so it's not a big deal so yeah that's the mod right now now let's talk about the release of this mod now there are a few changes i made from the original design so first of all i want to go over those then i will talk about the stls and the release of this mod so the changes i made are now for example i'm using two uh, gas springs instead of one I didn't model the second one in but yeah, you just saw the real thing um, I have to use two I also have a different design for the deck panel I couldn't do this with mine because well as I said before my jigsaw literally broke so there wasn't much I can do the part that's holding the blade the little circular bearing type thing that broke off and the jigsaw is useless right now it doesn't do anything at all so yeah I need to replace that until I, I replace it I can't cut the bed sorry I can't cut the deck panels but that doesn't mean that this design won't work it it should work perfectly fine because well at least this part is the same with my current deck panel and I can easily remove it just like I showed in the real 3d printer itself as well so yeah this is the way you need to split your deck panel again into three pieces they are supported with the top parts of these DIN brackets and these panel support parts for the side ones and the middle one is just supported with two as you can see and well if there is some wobbling what you can do is just um, stick some uh, foam tape under the extrusions which should uh, keep it in place if that is a problem I doubt it will be also from the original design you might have noticed that I'm not using the custom designed Z belt covers anymore and that's because that's not really necessary I threw mine away and yeah you can just use the regular 2.4 covers or 2.2 covers like I do and with flexible deck panel material like my HDPE sheets you can just screw them in to the extrusions it doesn't prevent you from removing these panels but if you are using something a bit more solid like I don't know metal or something then you what you can do is just VHB tape these to the deck panel and not screw them in and it will do the same thing other than that I made some design changes to the uh, to the handle and the uh, bottom part that mounts it so first of all I adjusted it for the metal hinges as you can see now the extrusion goes a little further than before I also added these two holes these are for M3 screws that will go through the handle into the bottom part, bottom part which has threaded inserts in it so yeah if you don't trust the magnets or if you don't want to use the magnets at all you can, this you can use this method 
in my testing the magnets worked perfectly fine and they didn't affect the print quality the Banshee and the 3D uh, Voron Design Cube that I used they were printed without screws in place and again they work just fine but yeah if you don't trust them or don't want to use them you can open or lock this in place with just screws and if you are going to ship your Voron I'd still recommend you do it just in case and yeah there isn't, there isn't any other change to the design I don't think so the design files for this are now released as of right now I released the STL files on github and I also released the cat files with them as well and within those cat files there's also a drawing I did for the heat uh, for the deck panel so yeah if you are going to get your laser cut or something like that I think you can use it and if there's a problem with that because the first time I designed the DXF just let me know I'll figure it out and yeah as of uh, as for the release of this mod to the actual Voron users github it will take a little more time first of all I need to get the bomb list together bill of materials and yeah that will take some time and in that list I will also have purchasing links for anything you may need so yeah there isn't anything to get confused about in terms of sourcing the parts I'll try to figure out everything for Europeans and for Americans so two sources at least at least that's the goal and after I get the bomb list done next thing I'm going to do is prepare the assembly manual for this again I will do a written version of it but I think I will also do a video version of it as well and upload it as the next week's video I think yeah, I can do a better job of explaining with a video than just a written manual so that's why I'm I think I'm going to do that and yeah after all of those are done so basically next week I will create the pull request on github and hopefully Florian will approve it quickly and you will see this in the official Voron users github as well but until then you can find the you can find uh, files for this mod in the description in my fork of the Voron users github and yeah that's it for this video i hope you liked the mod and what i did in this video if you did please leave me a like down below and thanks for watching